What's up, gang? It's your girl, Jazz, and I'm back with another Untitled Creation. So today we're gonna be making another rolling tray. It's gonna be marbled inspired. You know, I'm usually known for the marble rolling trays. So I wanna update y'all on how I get it done today, right now. Usually I use a white spray paint or if I'm doing a solid color, I try to match that color glitter as much as possible. So with the royal blue, I would have the royal blue glitter. But since we have multiple shades of blue today and a black, and a chunky glitter and this blue and this this blue i have two different spray paints to see which look will look better for me or which look will look better for you for when you do it for yourself i have two rolling trays remember you want to clean these off with 91 percent alcohol before you add anything to it spray paint epoxy whatever you want to clean them sanitize them and remove the stickers on the back if you wish to now first things first I'm sorry if you guys can't hear me, I'm outside clearly and it's um, a cool wind, all of that. So I'm gonna start off with the darker color spray paint. Make sure you um, make sure you go ahead and shake it up. Shake it up. And then we're gonna spray paint it. I don't care about this table, clearly it's already messed up. So I'm just gonna spray paint it on here and um, let it dry as it, as it should. Get it to the edge. Okay, spray paint it, easy peasy, right, easy. So you wanna pick this up, and then you're gonna go in with your first color. Since this is the royal blue color, I'm gonna go in with the royal blue. Um, I'm gonna bring you guys closer and aim you down here so you can see exactly what I'm doing. This is how we are. I'm just gonna start in the corner, pour it on there. The wind kind of helping me out here. I'm gonna go in with the black. Come on now. Well, it's very hard to do this out in the out in the Oh, I forgot my cup. Give me one second. Okay, so now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and take a cup and do it just like that. Ah, that's how it came out. Um. You see it's dancing in the sun and it's still drying. So once it's dry, it'll be complete. Let me show you how I do the second one. Here's the second color. I can't see the screen. So if it's not on angle, I'm so sorry. Okay, let me scoot over a little bit. Here we go. Right? Is this to you? Okay. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Okay, 
So now it's completely covered. We're gonna pick this up. I wanna start with the chunky, the chunky glitter first. I really want to do another one, but I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to do another one. That's cute, though. This is cute. I'm going to come back, and I'm going to epoxy it. Um... And I'm gonna show you how it looks just epoxied. And if you want a full tutorial on how I do a full marble set, just um, subscribe to this channel and I'll make sure I have it posted real soon. But yeah, subscribe, 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 okay? Just subscribe. And then like, and make sure you guys comment. Like if you like this video and you wanna boost it up, help me out a little bit, comment down below just comment say oh i like this video or um anything you want to say just put it in the comments help me boost my little algorithm just a little bit but until next time guys i'm just gonna insert the finished product in a little 30 minute i mean <laughs> i'm gonna just insert the finished product in a little 30 seconds but this is the last time you'll see me so i am out i love you guys thank you for watching subscribe subscribe like comment down below and i'll see you next time bye If you want a mixing epoxy tutorial, go ahead and watch another one of my videos. I have one already posted, but I will be updating it, giving you better quality, giving you better overall videos. So um, you might see a couple redo videos and it might actually help you out. I'm just informing you on the tips and tricks I've learned so far. But I'm just spreading the epoxy right here and I wanted to show you all. I wasn't ready to say bye. I take my finger. You see, I'm building up a puddle in the corner. Oh, maybe I didn't want that corner yet. Give me a second. All right. So you see me building up in the corner. I'm taking my finger, putting it in the epoxy, and I'm bringing it up on the ledge of the tray. So I, while I'm bringing it up on the ledge of the tray, so I can see the tray, little tray edges. And then you want to put a little bit of pressure, but you don't want to put too much pressure on it when you're putting the epoxy. Or you're going to need like two, three layers, and it's going to get thick, you know. You don't want it to be too thick, you know. I got the epoxy, I got this tray, and I got some foil. I couldn't find my silver foil. I really wanted silver on this. That would have been so freaking bomb with some silver. But um, I ain't have it. But I got this blue. I don't really want it to blend in like that, so I'm gonna use this white. Oh, 
So I have some extra epoxy, so I'm gonna um, put it in this ashtray mold. Oh, it's not a lot like I thought. Okay, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. So I got a thin layer of the um, clear epoxy with the silverish blue flakes in here. And um, we're just gonna let this all dry and I'm gonna show you the finished product for real after this, after this. Bye-bye. This is how it looks. Y'all, when I tell y'all, I've been out here. These trays been out here for like an hour. And I could, like it's dry. Like the epoxy is really dry in an hour, bro. In an hour. Because it's so hot outside. Like, what? Yeah, let's get into it what it's really dry i need to go to the craft store and get some more vinyl because i want to do silver i want to do oh it's a little bit it's a little bit tacky in some spots some areas but overall it's dry like this in an hour what indoors could never but this is how it came out i'm gonna get some vinyl and then remember come back for part two so you can see the ashtray like the whole little setup with this and how i lay the vinyl bye